Hello, Yolanda. What a pleasure to see you. Hi. Que me alegra que se haya podido conectar. Gracias. Bienvenida. Hello. Welcome, my dear students. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Welcome. Very fine, thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Is it raining near your houses? Yes. Está lloviendo por su casa todavía, no? Yes. Yeah. Well. Here it's raining really hard. <clears throat> but it is it's okay. We I think we are going to do it nice during the class. So, happy cross day. Hoy el día de la cruz. Feliz día de la cruz a todos. So, welcome to another day, another class, another opportunity to learn. We are going to be working today in the beginning of unit number three. And for sure, I really appreciate all the different videos that you sent me. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for my internet was like on and off, but it was good. So thank you to all the ones who sent me the videos. I really appreciate them. The videos, the audios, sorry. <clears throat> thank you for the audios on the group. I really appreciate that. I am going to be correcting them during the class and we are going to listen to a couple of them. So some people say, Lisania says, se me ha ido el inter. La luz se me ha ido, they say. Well, hopefully they are going to, to connect soon. Okay, let's start working today. And we are going to start with the paragraph. Exactly with the paragraph that I sent you today. And it is about Tom, right? I sent you the paragraph on the chat. What was the most complicated part of the paragraph for you? ¿Cuál fue la parte más difícil para ustedes del párrafo que les envié? Or no tuvieron dificultades así de decir, ah, no, everything is easy. Huh? None of it. Everything was okay. It finishes. Finishes, right? Finishes. So here we have it. Remember that, like, a little bit on the complications, it's on the third person, right? That we have uh, to mention and to make it clear, right? When you say, for example, the word works, right? He works at the bank. Tom works at a bank, right? At a bank. Esa es una sola, una sola expresión. Right? Tom works at a bank. He is the manager, right? Manager. He starts, starts with the S at the end, right? He starts work every day at 8 a.m., right? A.m. is still a problem for a couple of you, right? You say a.m. He finishes, he finishes work Every day at 6 p.m. finishes, right? He leaves, <laughs> no, he lives. He leaves, he lives very close to the bank. 
He walks to work every day, right? He walks to work every day. His brother and sister also work at the bank, but they do not live close to the bank. They drive cars to work, right? In this case, cars is plural, right? It's the plural form of the noun. This is the noun, okay? So that is uh, basically the paragraph that we had. The most complicated thing, it's the pronunciation of finishes, right? Finishes and leaves. He leaves very close to the bank. Those were the mistakes that I kind of like got from the audios that I could listen. But we are going to work on it right now. And I am going to ask for a couple of volunteers. I need only three volunteers. Necesito tres voluntarios nada más. Mm -hmm. To do it in live session, lo vamos a hacer en vivo. Ya lo practicaron un montón, so don't don't worry. <laughs> Ronald, I need two more. I have Ronald. Who else? Ah, another <clears throat> volunteer. Remember to raise the hand on the platform. <clears throat> I have Ronald. I have. <laughs> okay, Evelyn, thank you very much. And Luis Parrillas, thank you very much. <laughs> I love my volunteers, right? Todo el que vio así como... I mean, not teacher. <laughs> I was like, no, teacher. <laughs> so, okay, Ronald is going to read it first, then Evelyn, and then Luis, okay? Go ahead. Okay, this uh, Tom works at a band. He is the manager. Continue. He is he starts work every day at 8 a.m. He finishes work every day at 6 p.m. He lives very close to the bank. He walks to work every day. His brother and sister also work at the bank, but they do not like. They do not like close to the bank. They drive cars to work. Very good. Thank you, Ron. Yeah. Oh. Good, 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 good. You did a very good job, right? It was very... Okay, okay. We have Tom works at a bank, at a bank, right? At a bank. He works at a bank. 8 a.m. A.m. 8 a.m. And they do not leave. They do not leave. They do not live. Porque no está contractado. Si dije estuviera contractado es they don't live. They do not live. Close to the bank. Okay. Very good Thank job. You. Let's go with Evelyn. Okay. Tom works at a bank. He is the manager. He is at work every day at 8 a.m. He is finished to work every day at PM. He lives very close to the bank. He wants to work every day. His brother and sister also work at the bank. But they did not live close to the bank. They drive cars to work. Good. Very good, Evelyn. Thank you very much. Finishes. He finishes. Finishes. Okay. He finishes work yeah. every day at 6 p.m. The next one, he walks. He walks. Walks? No, he walks. Walks. He walks yeah. to work every day. And they do not leave. They do not leave. Close to the bank. Thank you very much. Evelyn, very nice. Mr. Luis, go ahead. Okay. Tom works at a bank. 
<laughs> okay. Spoiler. Go. Go. No va a pagar. Okay. What an honor. Okay, go ahead. Okay, sería. Tom works at the bank. He is the manager. He starts work every day. I am. I am. He finishes work every day at 6 p.m. He lives very close to the bank. He works to work every day. His brother and sister also work at the bank. But they do not lie close to the bank. They drive cars to work. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Mr. Parry. <laughs> at 8 a.m., right? 8 a.m. At 8 a.m., right? 8 a.m. Okay? Walks. He walks. walks. Also, also, his brother and sister also work. And, but, but, right? But. His brother and sister also work at the van, but they don't leave, leave close to the van. They don't live, no, they don't live close to the back. Okay, so we did it very nice. And my three first volunteers were excellent. I really like them. Now you can listen, right? Now there are no mistakes. <clears throat> and we are going to work on this one again. Okay, we have it again. I need two different volunteers. I need two different volunteers. Ya pasó Ronald, ya pasó Evelyn y ya pasó Luis. Necesito otros dos voluntarios. Le vamos a hacer un level up a estos otros dos. Ok, Isabel, and one more. I need one more volunteer. Sin miedo, vamos, ustedes pueden hacerlo. Ok, Grisel. Isabel and Griselda are going to tell me the paragraph, but like if it is a very big thing, right? Like when you say, e, teacher Nati, do you know? Huh? I have something to tell you, teacher, right? Está fresco lo que le voy a contar. Teacher Nati, do you know Tom? Tom works at a bank. He is the manager. He starts work every day at 8 a.m. He finishes work every day at 6 p.m. He lives very close to the bank. He walks to work every day. His brother and sister also work at the bank, but they do not live close to the bank, teacher. They drive cars to work. Imagine, teacher. Hmm. That's a big chamber about Tom, right? Tom sacó lo de la pensión y se compró esta casa cerca del banco. You see, teacher? So you're going to tell me the gossip about Tom. Okay? And then you are going to see the magic of English, right? Ustedes me van a contar qué pasa con Tom. Porque los compañeros lo acaban de leer. You say, Tom works at a bank. He is the manager. He starts work every day at 8 a.m. He finishes work every day at 6 p.m. He lives close, very close to the bank. He walks to work every day, okay? Eso es leerlo. Vamos a vivirlo, okay? <laughs> Let's go and live the paragraph. Porque en, la, en el mundo, en la vida, no andamos por la vida diciendo, teacher Nati, eh, yo estoy en clase. Estoy en clase con inglés cooperativo todos los días. You don't do that in real life. Or do you speak like that with your friends? O andan por el mundo hablando así con sus amigos? No. No, all right. ¿Qué pasa cuando ven a su mejor amiga en la mañana? ¡Nate! Te voy a contar. Vení, 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 vení. And then you start telling everything like, cinco minutos tenemos antes de entrar. Go, 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 go. So we leave the language. Exactly the same. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> Al almuerzo, salud, salud, salud. And then you are all the morning like, Ay, me me está, no me de so, and you are leaving the things, even on the audios, on WhatsApp, right? Los audios que me mandaron están súper formales. 
Hasta me asusto a veces de tanta formalidad. Porque en la vida no decimos, hi, teacher, this is my audio. <laughs> you say, que onda, vos? On the audio, right? That's the way, well, that, that's what I sent on the audios. <laughs> my audios with my friends always start like, holy, que onda, vos? That's what I always say on the audio. So, <clears throat> Isabel and Griselda, you are going to tell me What's going on with Tom? Tom es un exnovio que yo tenía. Va. Cuéntenme qué anda haciendo. Griselda, go ahead. <ríe> Imagínense que, que en la conversación empezaría esto en persona, así como, hey Nati, ¿sabes a quién vi? A Tom. Ew. <ríe> And then you start talking about Tom. Ok, Griselda, go ahead. And really, he was your boyfriend. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Que mi esposo no sabe. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It was another Tom. Go ahead. <laughs> Tom, Tell me. Yeah. Hey, Nati. What happened? How was your How was your day today? Oh, it was good. I was thinking a lot about Tom. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, do you know um <laughs> ¿Cómo puedo decir no sabes a quién vi? <laughs> do you know? Uh, you cannot imagine. You cannot imagine who I saw today. You cannot imagine. Can, you cannot can... imagine. Ah, uh, that, that's easy. You cannot imagine Who was at the supermarket today? No te imaginas quién me encontré en el super. You cannot you imagine, can imagine who was who was at the supermarket at the supermarket today. Who? Tom. Tom. Ay no. Tom. Cosas que me mantienen humilde. Tom. <laughs> and what happened with Tom? And do you Tom? know? And do you know Tom worked? at bank really he is, really? yeah he is the manager the and man he starts work every day at 8 a.m really? and he fin he finishes work every day at 6 p.m oh my god he works a lot yeah and do you know where and, he lives now yeah and he lives very close to the bank ah, so he walks to work every day So mm. he he doesn't take the bus. Oh, really? He walks to work mm. every day. He, I will go his there. brothers <laughs> and sister, his brother and sister also work at the bank, but they do not live close to the bank. Mm. So they drive cars to work. Oh, they they have cars yeah. now. Oh, thank yeah. you very much for telling me, Griselda. <laughs> I know. I am going to look for him okay. on Facebook right now. <laughs> Good job, Griselda. You did it. Excellent. Nice. Claps for Griselda, people. Very good job. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Aplausos para Griselda. Hizo un excelente trabajo. That was fantastic. Hola, Tom. <laughs> He works at a bank now. He's a manager. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, I have very good actors here. I love it. Okay, Isabel, go ahead. Vamos, Isabel, 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 vamos. Hey, hello, Nati. Hi, Isabel, how are you? I go to tell you. What are you going to tell me? Uh -huh. I'm all Tom. ears. Tom, <laughs> Tom do you Tom have information? Uh -huh. Tom work at a bank. He is the manager. The manager? My God. <laughs> He starts work every day at 8 a.m. Really? He needs to levant My God. He finishes work every day at 6 p.m. Oh, me too. He lies every close to the bank. 
Oh, so he has a new house. Nice. <laughs> he he walks to work every day. So he is not in the 44 anymore. Ya no agarra la 44. That's so nice. Okay. His his brother and sister also work at the bank. Ah, por cuello los metió. <laughs> but they do do not lie close to the van. They drive cars to work. With the money of the bank, they bought, they bought the, the cars. So they don't live close to the bank. So they live in the house of the mother. Thank you for telling me, Isabel. I, I, I didn't know anything about Tom until today. Gracias, Isabel. <laughs> Thank you. You did a good job. Very good. Very good. So you see the difference. Do you see the difference on the language? Ven la diferencia cuando me están contando algo y cuando me lo están leyendo. So that's the difference of English. That's why you have to work on pronunciation a lot. Tenemos que trabajar un montón en pronunciación, en lectura. Si no nos gustaba leer antes, ahora que nos guste un montón. Si tenemos oportunidad de buscar cosas en English, leámoslas en voz alta. Hagan de caso que se las están contando a alguien cuando las vayamos leyendo para que su entonación vaya siendo lo más natural posible y no suenen como robotitos cuando estemos platicando, right? Porque en una entrevista va a ser mucho mejor si usted llega y le dice, hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. My name is Nati, blah, blah, blah. And you feel like natural English. Then to say like, hello, eh, <clears throat> my name is Natalie de Flores. I am Salvadoran. I live in El Salvador. I am 38 years old. Nice to meet you. And then, le van a preguntar algo diferente. Y se le, no, 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 pregúnteme my favorite color. <laughs> so, it is not like that. It is not like that. So, you have to work and try to do it in the most natural way, right? It was good. It was a good exercise, right? Imagine that you are reading this for someone. And it is very, very uh, different when you do it like this than when you do it uh, just reading it. So practice like that when you have anything uh, written. It is going to help you a lot, okay? ¿Qué les pareció el reto de grabar el audio? Vamos a ver cómo se sintieron. Y me pueden contar en español para que yo tome el feedback de eso. Ajá. Uh -huh. Did you feel challenged, bad, nervous? How did you feel? Ansiedad. <laughs> anxious. You, I felt anxious. You say anxious is like, oh, it's mostly when you make a mistake. Right? Más cuando uno va bien, va bien, va bien, y al final se trabaja. It's like, mm, Jesus. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Brendita. Díganos <laughs> dónde estuvo la noche de anoche. <laughs> We were we were waiting for you, right? Se alargó el día el trabajo. No, but the, we were missing you a lot, Brendita. Por ahí me dijeron que estaba enfermita. Sí. Oh, ¿Qué tal se siente? Todavía no puedo escuchar. Uy. <laughs> okay. So, but I, 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 I am glad that you are here, that you are in class. Okay, good. Selena, what a beautiful hair that you have. Oh, my God. I was checking on Selena there. Selena, qué lindo cabello. It's like, like Rapunzel. That's so long and beautiful. <laughs> ah, but it, it looks very nice. Se me está secando de la mojada que me la lluvia. Oh my goodness. So you have to be very careful with that. You have to be very, very careful. So my dear students, let's continue working on what we were doing, okay? Did you have the opportunity to download the section of the manual? ¿Ya descargaron la sección 3 de su manual? No? Yes? Yes. Okay, so with that, we are going to be working because today, as I told you yesterday, we are going to start with that. The first thing we are going to work on this one is the different verbs, right? The different actions that we can use. Let me share my screen with you. Let me just open this one. Tengo un segundo para abrir y compartir mi pantalla. 
so we can have it ready. This connection is a little bit slow today. Let me connection is down for four lengths. We are going to do it, don't worry. The main idea of unit number three, it's where do you work? So we are going to talk a lot about the workplace, the things that you do and the activities that you do at work, right? So we are going to start doing a little bit more personalized things and information. How would you answer, where do you work? How do you answer, where do you work? What would be the answer for that? What will be the answer for where do you work, people? ¿Cómo me contestarían eso? I work at Haynes Brown. I work at Haynes Brown. Very good job, right? I work at Haynes Brown. And that is because we are looking for the place, right? You are looking for the place of, uh, I mean, where you do your things, where. And if I ask you, who do you work with? Who do you work with? What will be the answer for that one? Who do you work with? First, what is the question? ¿Cuál sería esa pregunta? Who do you work with? What will be the answer for that one? Who do you work with? No, no, no. Who do you work with? I work with the name of the person. Aha, uh -huh. so you can tell me. Uh, do you work with someone in this class? Trabajan con alguien present in esta clase? No? Yes. Okay, so you can tell me one name. So you say, who do you work with? You can say, I work with Luis, I work with Isabel, I work with uh, Lisania, I work with Astrid. Who do you work with? ¿Con quién trabajan? I work with... Con todo. <laughs> with everybody. So that, that's good. Yeah. Right? I, I work I, with... I work, yeah. I work we with... We work at Hayes Brand. <laughs> so we work together. But in this, in this case, you say, okay. I work with everybody. I work everybody. with everybody. <laughs> right? So that is a good answer, right? I work with everybody. That's good. So if I say, where is your office located? Where is your office located? Or where is your workplace located? Where is your office located? I am going to write that one for all of you. Se lo voy a escribir para ti. No nos cuesta. ¿Dónde trabajas el oficial? No, no, no. Where? No. Okay, let me just write it for you. Where What? is no, no, your no. workplace? Okay, lo vamos a cambiar. Office for workplace located. Where My is your workplace located? My workplace located in... Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is in Rosario. Rosario de La Paz. Rosario de La Paz. Rosario de Paz o Rosario de La Paz. De La Paz. De La Paz no es no, solo La Paz. Rosario La Paz, así. Rosario coma La Paz. Ah, ok. Good, good, good. Todos los días aprende algo nuevo, ya ven. El tipo en Rosario La Paz. ¿Exactly la edad? Yes. Okay. It is in Rosario La Paz. You cannot still, I mean, you can you can say it is located in, and it's correct. But it's like, it is in Rosario La Paz. And that's a correct answer. Another question. How do you go to work? 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 So you say, I go 
Bye. I go by. I go by bus. I go by car. I go by foot. I go by bike. Bus. I go by foot. You can say I go by bike. bus. Bike. Okay. I, I go by bike. Okay. I go by motorcycle. I go by car. I go by motor taxi. I go by motor taxi. I don't know. How do you go to work? How do you go to work, people? You say, I go by bus. I, I go, go by up. bus. I go by bus. I go by bus. Okay, so yes, I hear a teacher thing. No. Okay, here I go. I am going to share my screen with all of you. And we're going to start. Here we have the quote for today. What is the quote of the day, people? ¿Cuál es la frase del día? Lives. Lives, good. The purpose. What is the purpose? El propósito. The purpose of our lives is to be happy. The purpose of our lives is to be happy. What is the meaning of that? The purpose of our lives is to be happy. So that is the purpose that we need to follow every day. Repeat after me. The purpose of our lives is to be happy. The purpose of our lives is to be happy. Okay. If it is difficult to learn English, right? Ah, si usted dice, no, es que me cuesta el inglés, me cuesta el vocabulario, me cuesta esto y todo. Antes de frustrarse, investigate, practice, ask questions, okay? Because the purpose of this is that you live and learn in a happy way, right? I try to do it in the happiest way possible, right? Yo trato de que ustedes aprendan de la manera más soft possible. Okay, pues, I, I hope that you are enjoying it. Espero que sí les esté funcionando. And if not, let me know. Okay. So. Okay. 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 I will tell you. <laughs> it's from Dalai Lama, right? It is not very famous right now, but yeah. We are going to work in, for sure, some vocabulary for today. Thank you. Gracias a la madre naturaleza que se hace presente en inglés. Some vocabulary for today, grammar. We are going to practice and we are going to do some exercises. But first, we are going to play a little game. We are going to play a Stop the Bus. Do you know this game? Stop the Bus. That is a very famous, that is a very famous game in Spanish. And we are going to use it in English, right? We are going to add a couple of categories here. I am going to add another category that it's going to be fruit. And we are going to add another category that it's called, okay. Animal, no, let, let's include a country or city. Um, country or city, right? So we are going to include these two categories. On your notebook, please, I need you to make the very famous and controversial uh, setting. En su cuaderno van a poner como lo jugábamos antes. La categoría, right? You are going to put the categories right here. So here you are going to put fruit, color, verb, adjective, 
country or city. Ok, ustedes lo ponen completo, vea yo porque no. No tengo ahí las habilidades con el lápiz. And here you have the points. Here we are going to have the points. Ok. On your notebook. Yo sé que ya lo jugaron antes, así que no es algo nuevo para ninguno de aquí. This is called bachillerato stop in Spanish. <laughs> Todos lo jugaron en su vida, vea. No me van a decir que no. ¿Todos lo han jugado más de alguna vez en la vida? No. 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 Really? Oh my God. Ni sé de qué hablo. Oh, really? No, están demasiado jóvenes para mí. Ok, el juego, el juego es así. Yo les doy una letra y ustedes tienen que poner una fruta, un color, un verbo, un adjetivo y una, un país o una ciudad que inicie con esa letra. ¿Ok? Imagine, uh, vamos a hacer un, un, un ensayo. Vamos a hacerlo con la palabra, con la letra eh, lo vamos a hacer con la letra T. ¿Ok? And in this one, la idea es que lo hagan, lo hagan pero lo más rápido posible, right? Porque la idea es que terminen rápido. So, a fruit or vegetable, you say tomato, eh, a color, eh, turquoise. Real. Real. No, with, with tea, con té. Oh, oh, con té. Turquía. Tur turquoise. Turquoise is turquesa. Eh, a verb, take. An adjective, un adjetivo. Eh, un adjetivo con té. Algo que describa, algo que describa. Tall. A country or a city. Eh, Trinidad en Tobago. <laughs> Trinidad en Tobago. Okay, and you have your, your categories. And you say, stop the bus. El que los tenga, detiene el bus. And you say, stop the bus. And you have it, right? Ya yeah, prohibido seguir escribiendo. The idea is that you have to be smart and quick. Okay? Smart and quick. Do you get the idea of the game? ¿Me entienden la idea del juego? Yes. Yes. Okay. So the idea is that you have to be quick, quick, quick. Okay? No lo vamos a hacer como competencia porque... La mayoría no ha jugado bachillerato stop en su vida. ¿Quién les hizo tanto daño? <laughs> okay, good. So, we are going to do it and we are going to try to complete all the categories, okay? Are you ready? Yes. No yet, no yet, no yet. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I am going to add the new letter right here. Aquí le voy a ir escribiendo las palabras, las letras con las que vamos a trabajar. Okay. Let me erase here. I'm going to erase Trinidad y Tobago. And okay. So, ready. The next letter for the stop the bus is the letter cha -cha. F. F. Vamos. Don't say anything, ¿ok? No digan nada porque si no se, se pierde el chiste. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Llenen las categorías con la F. A fruit or vegetable, a color, a verb, an adjective, country or a city. Pueden googlearlo, no hay problema. It's okay. Country with F. Vamos, 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 vamos. Think about it, think about it. Think, 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 think. Mm -hmm. 
you can Google, you can Google it. Don't worry, don't, don't worry. Your face, ahí están pidiendo copia, yo lo vi. Ajá, ajá, ajá. No stop the bus. Nadie ha logrado el stop the bus. Stop the bus. Stop the bus. No more writing. Mano arriba. Muestren todas las manos. No more writing. No more writing. Mano arriba todo. Ya no se vale escribir nada. Así. Oh, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay. <laughs> Stop the bus. Tell me a fruit with F. No sé cómo se pronuncia, pero es fig. F -I -G. Fig. Fig. Ah. Muy bien. Fig. Right. F I G. Otra fruta con F. No, ah, la misma tenía yo. <laughs> Another fruit with F. No. Oh. Uh, it's like the Fiji apple. Hay una, hay una, man, hay una manzana que se llama Fiji. The Fiji apple. That's another one. But <laughs> fig is the most common one, right? Eagle. Color with F. Puxi. Aha, my sure. best friend. La misma. <laughs> okay, that's good. It is a good cultural moment, okay? Este es un muy buen momento cultural. Nosotros en nuestra vida decimos fucsia. Please don't do it again, okay? Desde que ya aprendió inglés, desde que se metió a clases, the name of the color is fuchsia. 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 No es fucsia. Ni fucsia. Fuchsia. Pasame la camisa. Fucsia. No, it's fuchsia. Fuchsia. Fuchsia is a color with F. Very good. A verb with F. Fix. Fix. Very good. Fix. Another one. Fall. Fall. Find flash, flash, fish, okay, fish. flash, fish. okay, flash, fly, fly, fish. good, Fam well, famous is an adjective, an adjective with F, funny, fat, funny, fat, famous, famous, no, famous, 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 a country. Or a city with F. France. France. Okay, French. France. 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 <laughs> French? No, French is dead. France. The nationality. France. Okay, France. Good. Ya calentaron. Entonces, ahora sí, the next one, it's easy. The next one, it's going to be the letter R. Go ahead. R. The letter R, la R. Go, 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 with the letter R. <laughs> don't, don't say it, Isabel. Ya le dijo a toda la clase, ¿cómo? 
with R. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Remember, when you have it, stop the bus, okay? Stop the bus. <laughs> Stop the bus. No more writing. No more writing. Go, 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 go. Fruit with R. Red grapes. Red grapes. Okay. Red grapes. Red, Red grapes. grapes. Uh, rojas. Another one with R. It can be fruit or vegetable. It's okay. Fruit or vegetable. I have another one for you. Radish. Radish. Radish is rabano. Radish. Por aquí se lo voy a poner. Radish. Radish. Rabano. Mm -hmm. Color with R. Red. 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 The verb with R. Red. Red. Read. Read. Very good. Read. Reach. What else? Run. Run. Good. Very good. What else? The adjective with R. Range. Range. What is the meaning of range? Uh huh. Another adjective with R. Rich. Hey, rich, the, the rico, the millionario. Romantic. Romantic. Very good. <laughs> the country, the country or city? Yeah. Russia. Russia. Very good. Russia. Russia. Excellent. The next letter. Vamos con la última letra de la noche. The next letter is letter B. Letter B. B of donkey in Spanish. Banana. <laughs> don't say, don't say. Así pasa en el juego en vivo, no tengo <laughs> Stop the bus. Stop the bus. Uh -huh. Okay, stop the bus. Griselda is killing the game. Very good. Griselda, uh -huh. fruit or vegetable would be? Banana. <laughs> Banana. <laughs> another one. Another one would Bean. be? Beans. Beans. Very good. Beans. Uh -huh. Es nuestra fruta, nuestra vegetal nacional. Los frijoles. The beans. Yeah. Another one. Broccoli. What? Which one? Broccoli. Okay, banana is the most common one. Color with B. Black. Brown. Black. Black. Brown. Brown. Blue. Blue. Beige. Good. Beige. Adjective. Oh, sorry. Verb with B. But I. Bye. 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 Okay, bye. Kiss. With B. With B. Bad. Um, okay. Another adjective with B. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very good. Beautiful. Bad. 
Big. Bad. Big. big. Very good. Big. Country or city with B? Bolivia. 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 Brazil. No sé Venezuela, ok. Please. <laughs> me ha pasado, me ha pasado. Ok, so, I am going to give you an extra one. Le vamos a dar un, un token. Ok, token, extra token for being excellent students. I am going to give you one more letter. And it's going to be the letter P. P. Letter P, 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 P. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the P, P, P. Letter P. Potato. Sí, ya le digo a todo. <laughs> no le ayude. <laughs> No le digan, no le digan. You are helping everybody. Stop the bus. Stop the bus. Stop the bus. No more writing. No more writing. Mano arriba, mano arriba. No more writing. No more writing. Good, 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 good. Stop the bus. Okay. Fruit or vegetable with P? Pineapple. Pineapple. Potatoes. Potato. Peach. Peach. Uh -huh. Another yeah. fruit or vegetable with pea? Pear. Pear, right? You have the in that case is the pear, the pear. The, the pear, yeah. right? Pear. Yeah. Okay. The pear, the pineapple, and the potato. Good. Very good. Color with pea. Pink. Pink. pink, right? Pink. pink. Eh, verb with P. But play. You have play, Pain. put, paint. What else? Push. Okay, push. 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 Very good, right? Push is one of the verbs más complicados. Todas las puertas dicen push. Y usted anda jalando la. No, it's it's very complicated thing, right? Yo creo que ahí andamos por la vida jalando lo que hay que empujar. It's not okay. Right? Toda puerta que dice jale, usted le empuja. <laughs> Country or city? Oh, sorry, the adjective with P. Popular. Perfect. Perfect. What else? Perfect. Precious, perfect, pretty, very good, pretty. Thank Paris. you. A country or city, Paris, right? Peru. Peru. Panama. Panama. Panama, very good. Uh -huh. I think it's Puerto Rico, right? Puerto Rico. That's very good. Puerto Rico. So there you go. I thought for you, you did a very nice job on the stop the bus thing. You did a very good job. Ya tienen otro juego ahí para cuando se aburren. Agarran una letra y le ponen adjetivo, color, nombre, animal, cosa. Cuando el nivel va subiendo, les puedo pedir ya diferentes tipos de, de verbo, diferentes tipos de, de vocabulario, but it's good, right? We have, we have, a, you can add odd objects, right? As well, sports. You can add many different categories, but it's a very entertaining game. ¿Le gustó el juego? Yes. <laughs> that was cool. Yes. <laughs> it was very cool. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to call the attendance. And after this, we're going to continue with the vocabulary for the night. And we're going to make the introduction of the topic, okay? Give me just a second. Here it is, okay?
If remember when you listen to your name, say here or present. Okay, that's important. And here we go. Astrid Abigail. Astrid Abigail. Thank you. Hi, Delisani. Hi, uh, Brenda. <laughs> hi, hi, sweetie. No Brenda Elizabeth Cerón García. Present. Brenda Elizabeth Martínez Mejía. Present. Uh, Selina Janet Arevalo. Present, teacher. Diana Carolina Meléndez. Present. Edwin Ernesto Sánchez Gallegos. Present. Evelyn del Carmen. Present. <laughs> <laughs> Pobre Edwin, déjeme lo que coma. <laughs> the next one, Griselda y Amilet. Llegando, yeah. teacher, llegando ahorita. Me, okay. me agarró la lluvia. Don't worry, don't worry. Lo importante es que ya llegó y llegó bien. Thank you, Griselda. Isabel Rocío. Present. Thank you. José Antonio Rivera. Ahí viene Mr. José. Conectado. Mr. José Antonio, Luis Américo Rivas Martínez. Luis dijo que venía tarde, así que esperemos que venga. Eh, Luis Humberto Parrilla. Presente. Marta Alicia Montano. Marta Alicia Montano. Hey, Martita. No ha venido Martita, creo que tenía problemas de conexión. Ok, let's continue here. Eh, Norma Yamilet Beltrán. Normita. Ah, Normita escribió en el chat. Ok, let's continue here. Odalis Marisol. Rosa Ulises. Present. Roxana de Jesús. And Yolanda Beatriz. Present. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, I hope that the rest of your classmates can connect soon because they were having difficulties with the rain. So let's continue here. We were on the stop the bus thing. Excellent. So after this one, I have a little bit of vocabulary of the things that you can find in the different offices, right? Here we have different objects that you can find in the office. Here you can have, for example, a desk, right? A Day. desk is something that you find in the office, right? Ahí pueden ir copiando ustedes el vocabulario. Files, okay. what is the meaning of files? Archivos. Archivos. Archivos, right? A printer. Impresora. A printer, it's the impresora, right? A clipboard. I think I have one, right? No, a clipboard is the one that has uh, something to hold the papers, right? Es como una tablita que tiene un gancho arriba para agarrar los papeles, right? That's a clipboard. A notepad. A notepad is where you can write, right? That this is a notepad, right? That you can have it right here and then you can add things here. This is a notepad, una libreta de apuntes. A hanging file. Hanging file is the ones that you put in the archivero, right? Esos son ya los folders que ustedes ocupan para eh, archivo, right? that you open it and then you look for them. An accordion file, it's a folder with many spaces to put papers. No sé si han visto unos folders de plástico que tienen un montón de compartimientos adentro. So, an, an accordion file. Right? It is the one that you can use to uh, save a lot of papers. A briefcase. Mm -hmm. A briefcase is the one that you take to work. Un maletín. Maletín de oficina, right? That's a briefcase. A laptop, you know what a laptop is, right? It's a computer that you can use anywhere. A laptop. And do you know what's the, why is it called a laptop? Porque se la ponen en sus piernas, en su lap. La parte de sus piernas donde se pueden poner la, la computadora, es, esa parte se llama lap. 
sit on my lap, right? Like in, in mis piernas. So that's why it's called laptop, porque se la pueden poner en las piernas. And okay. work there. That's why it's called laptop. A file cabinet is this one, right? Un gabinete, right? This is a cabinet. A personal organizer or an agenda. You have a personal organizer or an agenda, right? A stapler. This is a very complicated object because when you go, when you need one, you say, hey, can you lend me that? Death. <laughs> you don't remember the name. <laughs> and you say like one, one thing for the papers, you say, the stapler, right? The stapler. Engrapadora. The tape dispenser, right? The tape dispenser is the one where you get the masking tape, right? And the adhesive tape is the one that you use, right? El tirro. That's a very famous thing, okay? And here you have the next ones. Let me just move to the next vocabulary that I have right here. It's a hole punch, a hole punch or a puncher. The hole punch is for you to open. Perforadora. Yes, open holes on the papers, una perforadora. A rubber stamp, the rubber stamp, Dañado. It's un, una almohadilla, un sello, right? There you have a rubber stamp. The next part of vocabulary that I have here. <clears throat> the stapler, right? It's the one that I have right here, the stapler. The paper clip. The paper clip is just this little object, right? The scissors. The scissors right? Scissors. The rubber bands. The rubber bands son las bandas elásticas. A bulldog clip. Son los clips que son un poco más grandes para agarrar muchos papeles al mismo tiempo, right? That's a bulldog clip. The paper clips as I have right here. The push pins. The push pins are the ones that you put on the board, right? Esos son los que ponen en las, eh, en las pizarras de anuncios, como las llamamos en español. The push pins. ¿Cómo se llaman estos objetitos en español? Como alfileres. ¿Cómo? Como tipo alfileres, pero pequeños. No, son alfileres, porque lo ponen, por ejemplo, en los boletines de anuncios para poner papeles, tachuelas, la pizarra, tachuelas o clips. Um, no son clips. Más son tachuelas. Muchos le dicen tachuelas o, o chinches. Aunque uh -huh. las chinches son como más chiquitas. Yo les digo tachuelas. So ah, there you go. más que pican. <laughs> That's an animal. No, hay unas chinches que son unos clavitos chiquitos. Para ponerlas. So there you have. And a notice board. It's a, a place where you can find announcements about the office, right? ¿Tienen una ustedes en su oficina? Una pizarra de anuncios? Tengo. Varias. Yeah, you have a, a lot, right? Where you can go and check for information. Important sí. information about uh, the things to come, right? Eventos, cosas que van a pasar. So you have it in the notice board. So that it's a part of extra general vocabulary that we can have, right? It is always important. In the office, you find many of these things, or for example, when you go to human resources, they have it on the on the board, right? De repente, cuando va a recursos humanos, los ve en los escritorios, o en la entrada de su área de trabajo, el que está trabajando con usted los puede tener. So now you know the names of this in English. Do you use any of this one in your in your work? ¿Utilizan alguno de esos objetos en su trabajo? Um, the scissors. The scissors. What else? Para cortar tela. Only the scissors. Whole the tape. The hole puncher. The hole puncher. Good. What else? The rubber bands. Do you use the rubber bands?
And uh, so, yeah, the scissors are like the most common ones that you can use. And here we have here. <clears throat> Let's match this one to make a phrase. What words would you match? ¿Qué palabras uniríamos para hacer una frase? Which one would you match with work on? Work on breakfast? Work oh, on school? Work oh, on? Work computer. on a computer. computer. Commute to? ¿Qué le dije cuando veamos una palabra nueva? What is the first thing we need to do? Oh. Teacher, what is the meaning of? The meaning of? Commute, viajar, ir de la casa al trabajo, del trabajo a la casa. That is to commute. Commute to work. Commute to work. Exactly like that. Commute to work. Commute to work, right? The next one. Cook. Cook. Breakfast. Breakfast. Breakfast? No. Breakfast. 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 The next one. Yeah. Talk. Uh, on the phone. Talk on the phone. Very good. Talk on the phone. Make a call. Make a call, right? Make I need to call. make a call, right? Read a read a book. Read a book. Right? Read a book. Now, now that you have the different phrases. Okay. Okay. Now that we have the different phrases, I need you to make two sentences. Two sentences in negative. Two sentences in negative using the subject he. Two sentences in negative using he. He doesn't work uh, on a computer. He, okay, he doesn't work on a computer. Good, another one. He doesn't cook breakfast. He doesn't cook breakfast. Excellent, Griselda. Very good examples. Um, now, uh -huh. he can come to. Negative, negative. He. He doesn't, doesn't. He doesn't come to a work. He doesn't commute, right? He doesn't commute. Commute to work, right? He doesn't commute to work. Good. Another one. Negative. He doesn't read a book. He doesn't read a book. Excellent. Another one. He doesn't take on the phone. He doesn't talk on the phone, right? He doesn't talk on the phone. Excellent examples with he. Let's work now with the subject, they. In negative. They. They don't work on a computer. They don't work on a computer, good. They don't. Another they don't one. They don't make a They call. don't make a call. They don't cook breakfast. They don't cook breakfast. Another one. They, they don't talk. They don't read a book. They don't talk. They don't read a book, right? They don't do anything. <laughs> they don't do anything. They don't talk. They don't read a book and everything. And now we are going to make a question with my brother. My brother, oh my God, what a horrible thing. Wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. que me complico? I have here. <laughs> my brother. Go ahead. My brother, question. Does my brother work on a computer? Does my brother work on a computer? Very good. Another one. Does my brother cook breakfast? Does my brother cook breakfast? Another one. Does my brother read a book? Does my brother read a book? Fantastic example. Another one. 
Does my brother talk on the, on the phone? Does my brother talk on the phone? Very good job. Now, the last one, the, the last example that we are going to work is, let me see here. I, question. Do I, I work on a computer? Do I work yes. on a computer? Yes. Good. Do I talk on the phone? Do I talk on the phone? Uh huh. Do I make Do I breakfast? breakfast? Do I cook breakfast? Good. And now, no. how would you ask me the question? ¿Cómo me preguntarían a mí? Uh -huh. Teacher, do you cook? Yes, I do. Teacher. Make a call. Teacher, do you make a call? Uh, yeah, so every day, I think. Yeah. I have to make phone calls every day. Teacher, do you cook a breakfast? Yes, sometimes. Well, for my son, every day. Teacher, do you? Teacher, do you read in the book? Yes, I do. I read a lot of books. Another one. Teacher, do you? Do you work on a computer? Yes, I do. I am working on a computer right now, <laughs> for sure. Good. So those are good examples with phrases, right? You say work on a computer, commute to work, cook breakfast, talk on the phone. Those are phrases that we can build up with this one. Okay. So I have this one. These ones are verbs with nouns. So we have verbs with nouns. Let's match this one. Write what? On the board. Write on the board, right? Mm -hmm. The next one, say. Say. I'm a Say. Say, okay, say. Say thank you. Say thank you. Say thank you, right? Decir gracias. Very good. The next one. Get on. Thank you. Get on. 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 A motorcycle. Get, Get on. on. A motorcycle. Si no sabemos, ¿qué hacemos? What's the meaning? Teacher, what's the meaning? Very good. What is the meaning to get on? Subirse. Ah. Subirse. Motorcycle. Ah, mo motorcycle. Get, get up. Get, subirse. Ah. Get Correr on. y subirse a algo. Get on. Bus. A bus. A bus. You run and then you're like... Let's go. You get on a bus, right? Yeah. Cook. A meal. Cook a meal, right? Cook a meal. Una comida. Right? Cook a meal. Uh, the next one. Use. 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 Use a microscope. A microscope, right? You use a microscope. And to ride. Ride. A motorcycle. Ride a motorcycle. Ride is motor. Motorcycle. 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 Es una bicicleta con motor. Motorcycle. <laughs> you have a bicycle that it's a normal, a normal bicycle, but a motorcycle is una motocicleta. Una bicicleta motorizada. Motorcycle. Motorcycle. A motorcycle. So you say you ride on the board. You say thank you. Get on a bus. Cook a meal, use a microscope, and ride a motorcycle. Can you give me one original sentence with any of them? Una oración, ya sea afirmative, negative, interrogative, he, she, it, mom, my mother, my father, anything with one of these phrases. My father used a motorcycle. My father? Use. My father? Use. My father, third person, third person, my father. I do, my father, I do. Use. Use. Estamos hablando de tercera persona. My father uses, uses, uses a motorcycle. 
Usamos use con motorcycle? No. ¿Qué usamos con motorcycle? Right. Right. Okay. My father rides a motorcycle. My father rides a motorcycle. Good. Very good. Another sentence. Vamos, vamos, vamos. My mother cooks cook a meal. My mother cooks a meal. Very good. My mother cooks a meal. The next one. My teacher writes on the board. My teacher writes on the board. Very good. Another one, another one. Brenda gets up, gets on a bus. Brenda gets on a bus. Excellent. And you are using your classmates. Another one. One more, one more. Un ejemplo más. Alicia uses a microscope. Alicia uses a microscope. Very good job. So, here we have different things, right? These are activities that you do. Si se fijan, todas esas son acciones o actividades que hacemos normalmente, right? To get on the bus, to cook a meal, to use, uh, well, we don't normally use a, motor, a microscope, but it can happen, right? Ahí los, los, los que estudian ahí la tela, bacterias y todo en el laboratorio de la empresa, sí lo ocupan. Ride a motorcycle, right? Say thank you. Those are normal activities. But what are the things that you normally do in your work? What are the things that you normally do in your work? And on this one, the, uh, well, the activity is going to be like this. I need you to choose one person in the class. Escojan a una persona de la clase y le vamos a hacer una pregunta. You are going to say, uh, imagine that you say, Luis, do you make phone calls on your work? Do you make phone calls in your work? Yes or no? No. no so you say, no, I don't. No, okay. I don't. Y ahí Luis le pregunta a alguien más. Viene Luis y le pregunta a Lisania, por ejemplo, Lisania, do you make coffee in your work? And she's going to say yes or no. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> And then Lisania is going to ask another one, right? Al que le vayan preguntando, le va a ir preguntando a alguien más. Okay? I am going to start. Yo voy a iniciar y, y el que le toque, pues ahí va a seguir. I am going to start with... Chan, chan, chan. Carolina Durán. Todo, yo, yo, ya voy, ya voy. No, right. Carolina. Carolina, do you make phone calls in your job? No, no. Do you make phone calls in your job? No, I don't. No, I don't. Right? No, I don't. Very good. Now, Carolina, ask another person. Pregúntele usted a alguien más. Cualquiera de estas cosas. Ajá. Carolina, pregúntele a alguien más en de la clase. Evelyn, ajá. Eh, tú. Do you? You. Do you? Do you no, work? I don't. Okay. Do you use Zoom? No, I don't. Really? Yes. <laughs> ¿Y dónde estamos ahorita? <risa> ah, <¿cuál? risa> yes, I do. Yes, I do. Very good. Ok, Evelyn, pregúntale a alguien más. Uh, 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 Ronald, do you, um, do you write letters? I don't. No, I don't, right? No, I don't. Vamos, Ronald, ask another person. Edwin, do 
you make coffee? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, nice I do. Nice. Edwin, pregúntele a alguien más. Um, Brenda García. Brenda García, uh, do you attend meeting? No sé, solo hay... Brenda García. Brendita o... García. Yes. Ella, eh, Brendi, la que se acaba de reír. Brenda, ¿qué me parece? Brenda, me parece. Brenda, Brenda García. Brenda, Brenda Martínez. No, no, I don't. No. You don't attend meetings. No, I don't. No, I don't. Ok, no, Brenda no. García, ask another person. Pregúntele a alguien más. Um, Griselda, do you write Emily in English? Do you write emails in English? Emails in English. No, I don't. And in Spanish? What? And in Spanish? Do you write emails in Spanish? Yes, I do. Okay, Griselda, ask another person. Um, I then I then listen. Do, I then do you interview job candidates in your job? No, no I don't. She say no, I don't interview job candidates. Que si le hace las entrevistas a los nuevos empleados. Mm. Lisania, ask another person. Uh, Isabel Rocío. Isabel Rocío, ajá. Uh -huh. Do you do you go on business trips? Do you go on business trips? Mm. No, no, I don't. No, I don't, right? I wish, but no. Isabel. Go ahead. Mm, Astrid. Astrid, huh? Este, do you print documents? Do you print documents, Astrid? No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, Astrid, no. ask Odalis. Um. Print, do you print documents? Do you print documents, Odalis? No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, Odalis, ask Brenda Martinez. Mm, do you like milk? <laughs> no, 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 from the examples. De los ejemplos, de los ejemplos. Um, no, se bueno. Uh -huh. Do you? Do you? Do you make coffee? Do you make coffee, Brenda? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. Brenda, ask Edwin. I oh, know Edwin already passed. Let's see. Ask Yolanda. Do you write letters? Do you write letters, Yolanda? Yeah. Yes, I do, she says. Good. Yolanda, ask. Uh, let me see. Who am I missing? Selena. Okay, go ahead. No. Vamos, Do you make coffee? Do you yes. do you make coffee in your work, Selena? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Right? Yes, I do. <coughs> si decimos yes, no podemos decir yes, I don't. Right? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Very good. And am I missing someone? Me falta alguien. 
Luis, Mr. Luis, Selina, ask Luis, please. You deal with suppliers? Do you deal with suppliers, Mr. Luis? Do you deal with suppliers? <coughs> Do you deal with suppliers? No, I no, I don't, right? Deal with suppliers es el que le llega y le provee. Si usted le tiene, si usted tiene que trabajar con proveedores. And it's not, right? Are they all clear? ¿Están todos claros con estos tipos de eh, actividades del trabajo? Or do you have any question about any of them? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? ¿De qué significa o, qué, o a qué se refiere? No? Is it clear? Clear like horchata? Claro, como la horchata. <laughs> okay. Do any of you give presentations in the work? No? Do you give presentation? No? Do you have to make reports? Tienen que hacer reportes? Do you have to make reports? No. No? Do you talk to clients? No. no. Do no. you, uh, let's see, photocopy documents? No. No? I don't. Do no, you I don't. attend clients? No. Attend meetings, no, sorry. Do you attend meetings? No, no los reúnen para nada? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Do you send emails? Do you send yes, emails? Do. Yes, I do, right? Si no, ninguno estuviera aquí, si no pudieran, si no recibieran ni mandaran correo. Yes, I do, right? Those are different activities that you do in your job. What are other activities that you do in your job? ¿Qué son otras cosas que tienen como eh, actividades en su trabajo? Teacher, yes. ¿Qué significa go on business trip? Business trips. Uh -huh. To go on business trips is to go and represent the company in another country. For example, imagine that okay, Haynes Brown has different places in eh, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, México, etc. Right. So, imagínense que agarran a Isabel y le dice Isabel va a ir allá a México a presentar cómo se usa esta maquinaria. And so you go on a business trip because it is from the company. They pay for you and you go. Okay. So that's a, that's a business trip. No anda ahí por placer ni vacación, sino que anda. You go on a business trip. Any, any other question? To interview job candidates. To interview job candidates is in Recursos Humanos, right? When you go and say like, ¿Y por qué quiere trabajar? Porque están contratando. No, no ¿Por qué debería darle el trabajo? Porque están dando trabajo. Obvio. So it's like, no, right? That it's to interview job candidates. What is your name? Where do you live? Uh, how much money do you want to make? Blah, blah, blah. And that is to interview someone. Okay. What are other activities that you have to do in your job? Que son otras actividades que son cruciales para su trabajo. We can add them here. Uh -huh. Díganme, yo se las puedo ir ahí poniendo in English. What are crucial activities that you do in your work? Do you turn, you have to turn on any machine? Do you have to work with something specific? Trabajan con el Reparo programa? máquinas todo el día. Okay, so that is something specific right you repair the okay. fixer no no repair okay. repair machines fix is when it is totally broken you can use it as well también la puede ocupar fix machines right sure. and repair repair is that you just need to make something small right and to fix is when you have to build up everything again and and repair what is another thing that you do in your job every day? Clean the machine. Do you? 
¿Cuál, cuál, 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 cuál es? Limpiar, digamos, la máquina. Ah, para clean. Para clean. Okay. clean the machines. Clean the machines. You clean the machines, ok. Eso es algo crucial, porque si Luis no las limpia, funciona. What else? Do you cut pieces of fabric? Hacer ejercicios ergonómicos. Ejercicios ergonómicos. What is that? <laughs> oh, really? How cool. Hey, wow. Nice. Yeah, because you have to be sitting all the day, right? To exercise twice a day. You exercise twice a day. Se ejercitan dos veces al día. Okay? Porque me imagino que por la posición en la que pasan todo el tiempo es como bien cansado. ¿Pasan de pie o pasan sentadas? Algunos de pie, algunos sentados. Oh Depending, right? Okay. So, you exercise twice a day. What else? What is another activity that you do? I have cut pieces of fabric exercise every day. Okay, to sew pieces of cloth, right? Coser o unir piezas de ropa. That's another one. What else? ¿Qué más hacemos? Cuéntenme. Uh, limpiamos Limpiar. nuestra área de trabajo. Oh, okay, to clean my workspace. To clean my workspace. What else? Platicar con los <laughs> to chat Ni with my friends. Me ve. <laughs> okay. Ah. Ay, oh my God. God. To chat with my friends or to talk with my friends, right? <laughs> aquí, amiga, te ayudo en el grupo, amiga, bracito, aquí hasta corazones, se mandan, se mandan allá. Allá no me conoce. Ay, come on. No, come on, come on. Hola, Luis. Uh, Hola, uh, yeah. Mañana cuando lo vea Ahí lo abraza uh, <laughs> Dígale que, que se lo mandamos De la clase No le voy a decir que se lo, manda la, se lo manda La teacher porque yo, yo me meto en problema. No, no, no Se le da la clase dígale. Ok, good What is another thing that you do To chat with your friends To clean your workspace To exercise twice a day What else? Yes. Contar el trabajo. Okay. To count count your work. How do you, what do you refer on that one? ¿A qué se refiere con esto? To count count uh, your work. Tenemos que contar este lo que vamos haciendo. Oh, okay. Tienen como para metas reportar. Por el día. Ah, sí, para reportar por horas. Oh, ok. ¿Cuánto tienen que hacer por hora? Depende. It all depends, but kind of 100 pieces, 200, 50, 40. ¿Cuántas piezas? No sé. I don't, I don't really know. Un ejemplo, por ejemplo, ¿cuál era la meta de hoy? Eh, diez docenas cada hora. Pero nunca cumplimos, por cierto. Oh my god. <laughs> 10 lessons. Oh my god. Okay. And so in that one, say to reach the metrics. To reach the metrics is the, the numbers that you have every day. I have to reach my metrics, you say. So in order to reach the metrics, I think we have to eliminate this one, right? <laughs> Eliminate that one, you are going to reach the metrics, right? Yeah. So if you want to reach the metrics, you have to eliminate the, uh, the chat. chat. So that is another one, right? To chat with your friends is like, ¿Y será que de verdad la teacha tenía un novio que se llamaba Tom? <laughs> so, no. so tomorrow, if you want to reach the metrics, don't talk with your friends, okay?
So those are different activities that you really do in your work, right? That is very, that's, that's really nice, right? Uh, Americo is not here because he uses the iPad at work. That's another activity. Oh. That is the, the activity for, uh, for him. So here you have the different uh, real activities that you do every single day. Let's continue here. Let me erase this one. Okay. I have here activities, right? Activities that you do in your normal life that is not at work, right? Esas son otras cosas que hacemos en nuestra vida que no es simplemente solo en el trabajo. So, what are the activities that you have here? You have... This is not really common, right? Esa es la única que no hacemos es esta quizá. Because we don't have snow. Uh -huh. Okay. Activities that we have. ¿Me ayudan a leerlas? We have cook. Cook. Good. Meet friends. Go skiing. Watch TV. Watch TV. Watch TV. What picture represents cook? What picture represents cook? Number eight. Number Number eight. Eight, right? Number eight represents eight. cook. Okay, cook is for number eight. This is cook. What about meet friends? Number one. Meet friends. Four. Reunirse number con four. Number four, right? Number four. four. Skiing. Skiing es la única que tal vez no hacemos aquí porque no tenemos nieve. Yeah. Go skiing, right? Go skiing. Go jogging. Number two. Number two, right? Go jogging is number two. Read. Number six. Number six, right? Go to the gym. Number five. Number five. ¿Por qué no rebaja? Porque está ahí, mire, talking with friends. <laughs> go to the gym. The next one. Go shopping. Number three. And watch TV. Number one. Number one. Okay. Number one. Y ellos están viendo en la tele ellos mismos. Okay. Ese es el verdadero Netflix. There you go. They are watching TV on their own, right? There you go. Do you identify with any of these activities, people? Do you identify with any of these activities? ¿Se identifican con alguna de ellas? Que ustedes dicen, yeah, I do that one. Watch yeah. TV, read. Watch cook. TV, read. Cook. Read. Okay. No. Go to the gym. No. <laughs> Y no, dicen que se ejercitan dos veces al día. <laughs> It sounds like going to the gym. No voy al gym. Ok, you don't go to the gym. Ok. So, in this one, you can say, I like to, I like to cook, meet friends, and read. What about you? I like to. I like to cook, meet friends, and read. What about you? Lisania, tell me. Hello. Ah, pensando en Tom. I like to, y me dice diferentes actividades. I like to. I like, I like um, read. I like to read. I like to meet friends. Uh -huh, meet friends. And shopping. And go shopping. Good, very good. Let's see. Luis, Parilla. 
I like to cook. I like cream. I like fruit. I like to go shopping. I like to go shopping. Good. Isabel Rocio. I like to cook. I like, I like to cook. I like to cook. I like go shopping. I like watch TV. Watch TV. I like to watch TV. Right. Remember that uh, with this one, for example, I like to. Y después de tú usamos un verbo normal. So you say, I like to go jogging, for example. I like to go jogging. I like to read. I like to sleep. I like to cook, right? So you can use the different forms. Astrid, give me your examples. I like to. Okay, I like to cook. I like to meet friends. And go. Okay, go jogging. You have to go jogging there. Selena. I like to do cook. I like to cook. I like to read. Uh -huh. I like to go to the gym. I like to go to the gym. I like to go to the gym. Very good. Let's go with Carolina. El suspense. Carolina. I like to. Se me perdió lo que he visto. Hey, Grisalda. I like to treat. I like to shopping, go shopping and watch TV. Very good. I like to go shopping and I like to watch TV. ¿Algún voluntario que quiera ser el último? I like to buy, four, three. I like to cook. Uh -huh. I like to go shopping. I like to watch TV. I like to read. And okay, I have one hand up. Tengo una manita levantada por ahí. I like to. I like to eat. I like to eat. Yes, Evelyn. Huh? I like to go shopping. I like to cook. I like. And I like to read. And I like to read. Good. Tengo un nombre ahí que no conozco. Betruchi Tanol. Ajá. Uh -huh. La persona. Te ¿Quién te eres? Te ¿Quién te eres? <laughs> Okay. Eh, ¿Quién se me acaba de conectar? Que se le salió ahí con otro nombre. Raro. A persona. <laughs> Let's continue here. So, we are going to work on this one, right? And this one has a little bit of a listening. And I am going to uh, play it for you. I am going to read it. And you are going to check on the different activities. Let me see if I have if I have the audio. I'm going to play the audio. Just give me one second. So, and let me just find the audio for this one. Here I go. My boy, boy. Let me see if I have the audio. If not, I'm going to read it for everybody. And I am right here. Okay, here I go. No, I don't have the audio for this one. So I am going to read it. 
No worries. Yo soy el audio. Mm. <ríe> Vi de audio. Okay. ¿Cuál es el miedo? La teacher es el audio. And it says, <clears throat> so Justin, what do you do in your free time? Wait, it's loading. So Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorite. Wow, you are a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. <laughs> so Justin, what do you do in your free time? Practice with me. So Justin, what do you do in your free time? So Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? Really? What sports do you like? What sports do you like? Um, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Um, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Okay. Um, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Okay. Baseball and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. I just watch them on television. Okay. I just watch them on television. I just watch them. I just I just watch them on television. I just wow. You were a really good athlete. Wow, you are a really, wow, good, you are a really good athlete. Wow, you are a really a really good athlete, right? You are a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? When when did you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Oh, I don't play this sport. I want. I just watch them on the television. I just watch them on television. Okay, I am going to let you work in groups. Lo puede dejar que trabajen en grupos, practicando la conversación. Ya se las envía al grupo. I am going to allow you to choose their room. Okay, le voy a permitir ahí que seleccionen su sala. Go ahead. Seleccionen la sala en la que se quieren. Seleccione dónde quiere ir a trabajar. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Any, choose one. <laughs> and you are going to practice the conversation. Choose one. Escoja uno. Any. Go, go, go. <laughs> okay. Me voy a llevar a uno de aquí. Ok, go ahead. Ya la tres ya no, ok, ya nadie coja la tres. Vamos, escojan una sala, la tres ya no. Pueden escoger la cuatro, la cinco, la seis y la siete. ¿Y dónde puedo ver eso? No le salen, ok. Bueno, no. lo puedo asignar yo. Ok, lo voy a asignar entonces. Ok, lo voy a mandar dedocráticamente.
Griselda, la vamos a mover a, a la sala 2. Ok, ok, ok. A Edwin, ya lo muevo, ya lo muevo. Vamos a mover a Edwin a la sala 3. There you go. Edwin, ya lo moví a la otra sala. Ya le salió la otra invitación. There you go. So all the students are going to practice the conversation with their partners. And we're going to check how they are doing. I am going to send the conversation to the group. Okay. And here we go in the last message. Okay, so we're going to see how they are doing in the different groups and how they are practicing the conversation. Let's go and visit the groups. Pero bueno. <laughs> In television, television. Television. I just watch them on television. I just watch them on television. Television. Good. La conversación normal, como que la estuviéramos teniendo en vivo, right? Remember. Mm -hmm. Hey, what are your favorite sports? This and that. Practice. Practice again. Okay. Vuelvan a practicar. Hey. <laughs> De nuevo, again, welcome. <laughs> okay, let's practice. Okay. Yeah. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Um, hockey, basketball, um, soccer are my favorite. Wow, you're a really good athlete. Athlete? Athlete. When do you... Athlete. <laughs> okay. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all this sport? Oh, I don't, oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. Okay, so. Okay. Remember, you say uh, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites, right? My favorites. Okay. What sports do you like? What do you do in your free time? You are a really good athlete, okay? And I just watch them on television. Practice again. Practice, practice, practice. Uh Selena. Selena. Se puede tomar agua, creo yo. 
Esa Elena. Justo Ay, entró en él. Justo entró en el momento. Se había dormido. No, <ríe> Selena, ¿cómo es? Me salgo de la app. Ok. Justo entré en el momento en que la andaban buscando. Selena. Pero aquí estoy. She was going to say, como la flor. Ah. Now, teacher. Very good. Practice, please. I need to listen to okay. you. Practice. Ok. Empiezo yo, Diana. So, Justin, okay. what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Real? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, basketball, and soccer are my favorites. Oh. Wow, you are really good athlete. When do you play the teach a sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on the television. Okay, good, 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 good. <laughs> you say baseball, baseball. baseball. So you say hockey, baseball, okay. and soccer are my favorites, right? Oh. You are a really good athlete. Uh, when do you play all oh, these sports? Oh. oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Okay. Practice again. Sigan practicando. Go, go, go. I will go and check another group. Um, um the John, the John Cat. Okay. De Junker, no sé. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice ese Junker o cómo? <ríe> ¿Cómo se <Junker>. dice? <ríe> Which one? Hockey. So, ah, Justin. Hockey. Okay, ah, so hockey. Hockey, <ríe> baseball, <ríe> soccer. <ríe> Sorry. <ríe> you know what the like, honking was? Y yo buscando, le decía, what? Eso no lo puse, esa. <ríe> Hockey, hockey, <laughs> baseball, <laughs> and soccer are my favorites. Okay. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television, right? I just watch them on television. On television. On television. Okay. Let's continue. Practice, please. Va, practiquémosla. Vamos a escucharla. A ver ¿Cómo le va? Ok. Um, so, Modalis, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love a sport. Really? What sport do you like? Um, the jockey. Hockey. 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 Y yo con mi jockey. Hockey. <laughs> Hockey, 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 basketball, and baseball. soccer. Baseball. <laughs> Ahí dice baseball, ¿de verdad? Sí, baseball. And okay. soccer. Are my favorite. Are my favorite. Wow, you are really good at athlete. Athlete? Athlete, uh -huh. Athlete, when do you play all types of sports? All these sports. All these sports. Oh, I don't play the soccer. I just watch them on television. I just watch them on television. Very good job. Continue yeah. practicing. Voy a revisar los últimos dos. Go, go, go. Right. Where are you? And <laughs> we do you play a dead sport? You are a really good athlete. Oh. Athlete. Uh -huh. oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch 
then a television. Excellent. I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television, right? You say, wow, you are a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television, okay? Practice it, again. Teacher, ¿cómo yes, se, ¿cómo se uh, pronuncia athletic? Athlete, athlete. 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 You are a really good athlete. You are a really good athlete. Excellent. Continue. Practice one more. Once more. Go ahead. Ah, vaya. Ah, vaya, vaya. Ah, go ahead. Ajá. Go ahead. El dúo dinámico vino a quedar junto. Eh? Go ahead. Action. Okay, let's work here. Action. Action. So, Justin, uh, so, so, Luis, or so, Ronald, I don't know. Louis, Louis. Who starts? Louis. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? Um, hockey, baseball, and soccer. I'm my favorite. Wow, you are a very really good athlete. When do you play all the sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. Very good. <laughs> I am. You are a really good athlete. Athlete. Okay. Uh, athlete. Give me a second. I will. Yes. Yes. Que necesitaban. Me llamaron. Hello, Selina. ¿Qué pasó? Hi. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome. Oli, Oli. Oli. No. Selina, what do you need? ¿Qué necesitaban, <laughs> Selina? Es que no sabíamos si, si nos teníamos que salir o qué. No, 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 no. Hasta que yo les digo bye, see you tomorrow. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Ahorita ya, ahorita ya, ya lo voy a despedir. No tengan pena. Okay. okay. Yeah, the class finishes when I say like, see you tomorrow for the next class. Okay, ahí finaliza la clase. I, I plan everything, even the ending, right? Hasta que yo les diga, okay, my dear students, see you tomorrow for the next class. Ahí se acaba todo. They are coming back. They are coming back. Welcome back, my dear students. We are about to finish. Please, you have your partner, right? Ya saben quién es su pareja. Ya saben con quién les tocó. And we are going to practice this tomorrow, first thing in class, okay? Ya saben con quién van. Así que mañana cuando iniciemos la clase, vamos a iniciar con la conversation. So please practice. I don't want... Atlet tomorrow. Eh? No quiero a nadie diciendo atlet, eh, hockey, atlet. Hey, hot cake, no, <laughs> hockey. Sí, hockey. Sí. Yes. yes, Edwin. Este, tal vez lo puede hacer. No sé si voy a trabajar hasta las 7, pero tal vez lo puede hacer un poquito más tarde para no, no, poder. No, 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 no. Yeah, at the beginning of the class, sí, I, I always have the review. Uh -huh. Muchas veces veo en el carro y. Quisiera interactuar, pero no puedo. No, no, no. Ya no, cuando vengo, okay. ya han pasado muchas. No, no, no. Si ¿Sí se puede, va. No, it's okay. Eh, siempre en la clase, si se fijan, tengo siempre como la revisión, hacemos la práctica, hacemos un warm up. Siempre la clase va así. Siempre tiene ese orden. Hacemos como la revisión del día, práctica anterior, hacemos una actividad, la frase del día, y de ahí empezamos con el tema. So, Escucho don't worry. How you teacher, porque yo entré tarde también ahora. No, I, we were talking about that. Eso estuvimos hablando de, de eso estuvimos hablando al principio. La hicimos una práctica. So, I am going to send some feedback, okay, at the end. So, please, my dear students, I am going to see you tomorrow with the conversation. Please practice. Have a beautiful okay. night. Sleep well. And I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next class. Have a good night. Bye bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Practice the conversation. Good night. Good night.
Abba Good Night. Le da el abrazo a Luis cuando lo mire mañana. Okay. <risa> bye, 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 Abba Good Night. Sí, 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 no hablan. Mañana se van a hablar todos. Tarea. <risa> bye, bye. Bye. Me cuentan si no la saludan, ¿ok? Ok. Bye, Brendita. Have a good night.